Sup guys, it's been a whole year since I've actually last uploaded a video and I cannot believe it, it's, it's already a year but um, I've finally come back to my channel and, and I'm like going to all my messages and comments and people have been asking me where the hell am I please upload a video and such so I thought okay let's upload a video now after a whole year and why not kick things off by start and talking about Windows 8 now it's coming out in a few days and like everyone else I cannot wait till it comes out because I absolutely love it I've installed it on my old computer and my old computer is running a dual core processor with two gigs of RAM and it runs smoothly and perfectly and I, I love the Metro interface and no Microsoft did not pay me to say this I'm truly saying it in my own opinion it's a good change I'm using it as a home theater PC with XBMC running with all my media in it so I can tell you it runs great and if you happen to be one of those people who want to try it out but do not really want to go through partitioning or dual booting and such then I'm going to show you guys how to run Windows 8 inside of either Mac or Windows now in this case I'm going to be using a Mac but you can also do this on Windows as well so we're going to be running a virtual PC basically or an operating system inside an operating system now you get to know throughout the latter rest of this video so how about let's just kick things off so first off we're going to go to this link in the description there will be two links one is to the Windows 8 release preview it is free right now you can try it till September 2013 I think somewhere around 2013 so all you have to do is click on get it now actually I sent the link to this one uh, so you can either download the 64-bit or the 32-bit. Now, seeing that as I have an iMac, I shall download the 64-bit. It's 3.3 gigabytes. And take note of this product key because you will need this later on when you're going to install Windows. So, next up, the software you will need, which is the main important bit, is VirtualBox. Now, why can't I try out VMware Fusion or Parallels Desktop? It's obvious you have to pay for them. VirtualBox is free simple as that so all you have to do is go to downloads and they've got it for windows you can download either the 32 bit or 64 bit you can download from mac os x actually why am i saying mac os x let's just call it os x and linux as well so i've already downloaded everything you can see that i have the iso image of windows 8 right here so now all you have to do is install virtualbox and let's open it up this is what you should get so let's make things simple. Let's go to new. We're going to create a new virtual PC. We're going to call it Windows 8, of course. So you can see it has automatically detected that it is Windows 8, but I'm installing the 64-bit edition. This is Windows Server 2012, for those who are wondering. So Windows 8, 64-bit, uh, Microsoft Windows. You can even try out Linux. Surprisingly, you can even try out Mac OS X. Uh, you can even... And What's neat about the software is that you can try out all of the old operating systems in this as well, even Windows 95, which is kind of fun if you want to look back in the past. But forget that, let's install Windows 8. Next, you want to allocate the amount of RAM this virtual PC will use. So mine is a 4 gigabyte iMac and I will let this use 2 gigabytes. So let's continue. And seeing that as I'm in the save zone, it's all right. Create a virtual hard drive, which is basically where Windows 8 is going to be installed. So let's create one. It's going to be 25 gigabytes. The file type, it doesn't really matter. Virtual hard disk is more compatible. But seeing as I am only going to try it on VirtualBox, let's just leave it to VDI. Now, this is the important bit. What type of hard drive? Dynamically allocated or fixed size? Now, let me explain this to you. Fixed size, basically, it it immediately takes up 25 gigabytes uh, of your storage so it will reserve 25 gigabytes immediately but dynamically allocated now let's say Windows 8 will install 8 gigabyte 8 gigabytes into that hard drive so dynamically allocated will take up 8 gigabytes it won't immediately take up 25 gigabytes but there will be a limit you can use the hard drive up to 25 gigabytes but it won't immediately take up 25 gigabytes 25 gigabytes on your hard drive so I prefer dynamically allocated next we're going to you can set the hard drive if you want or make any changes and I got the name ready so let's click on create and here is a small summary 
So Windows 8, 64-bit, 2 gigabytes of RAM, there is also display memory. You can even run 3D games in this, but don't expect to run Crisis or anything like that in this. So, let's get this started. Alright, so what does this mean, auto capture keyboard? Now, if now the mouse is going to be, let's say you're running the wind you are running the operating system, you're running Windows 8 right now. Now the now the mouse is going to be stuck in this window because you cannot control Mac and Windows at the same time. So if you want to control Mac, you have to hold the left command key in order to release that pointer and go back to Mac OS X. I'll show you what I mean later on. So over here you will need to look for the ISO image. Let me just minimize this. Alright, so let's find the ISO. It's in my desktop. Windows 8. Release preview. Open. And let's click on start. And you can see there is our boot screen. Now, of course, it's going to run a bit lagged up. Reports that the guest OS does not support moist pioneer integration. That's fine. Let me just click on OK. It's getting a bit lagged up, but don't worry about it. All right. So here we go. We are in Windows 8. And language, time currency, yada yada, you know the usual stuff. Let's click on Next and Install Now. Now you can see my pointer is uh, in Windows, but once I move it to the edge, you can see I can go back to Mac OS X. That's what I mean. So sometimes, uh, you sh in certain cases, if the operating system is not supported, it will get stuck there and it won't automatically go outside that boundary. In order to do that, you just uh, press on left command and the mouse or the cursor should be free from that point itself. All right, so you need that product key. So what I'm gonna... All right, so as you can see, we have now moved on to the license, license terms after we've typed in the product key. You're gonna accept it, of course, and you're gonna click on next. Then we're gonna custom install it. We don't really need to upgrade. Let's go to custom install. And we're gonna click on this unallocated space of 25 gigs. And we're gonna click on next. And now you can see Windows 8 is going to be installed. So this is definitely going to take some time. So I shall continue this video. Right, so you can see pretty much once the installation is done, it's been a good 15 to 20 minutes. So it's going to restart now. So let me just show you the entire process of how it's gonna work. No skipping or anything. We're not gonna boot from the CD or DVD again. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And there we go. Back to the boot screen. Right, so I think everything should be just done right about now, all the setting up the devices, you know, software, everything, I think it should be ready by now. So let's just stop speeding up everything. Let's just stick to this point. So I've been getting a, uh, a lot of complaints about Windows 8, about how the desktop does no start button or anything like that. It's not usable on the desktop. I think it's perfectly fine. It's just that you need to set up the shortcuts and everything for your desktop. So anyway. Here is our new startup. So personalize, pick a color you like. Um, let's just stick with green. Let me type my name and let's click next. So you can see this is all brand new. Uh, use express settings, let's stick with that. Use your favorite email address. Hmm, we won't send you spam. Sign in without a Microsoft account, a local account. So you can type in your Hotmail or Live account as well. You can use that too. Uh, so let's click on finish. Choose a different username. Can't be the same name as the PC. Ooh, okay, fine. One, two, three. Solves everything. <laughs> no. Finish. All right, so it's going to finalize everything. And uh, I even heard in some cases that you need to be online in order to log into your computer. That is, uh, that is just ridiculous. I have no idea where they come up with that. But um, anyway, I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I absolutely want, love Windows 8. It's fun to try out and it's different. I even want to try a Windows Phone 8 actually because it, 
especially the Nokia Lumia 920. It looks so appealing and right now I have an iPhone 4 which I've had for like almost a year now. So um, I can't wait to replace my phone and see how that is like. So right now, back in finalizing settings. For the record, it is definitely faster if you're gonna install it on a computer as like a whole operating system rather than a virtual operating system. So I think that's kind of obvious to people. So it normally didn't take this long. When I installed it on my dual core old computer, it took about 25 minutes just to get to the start screen. Right now it's been about, I don't know, 45 minutes since I started the installation. So yeah, it's gonna take a while. Sure indeed. There we go. We are finally done with the installation. We are in our brand new start screen. Uh, but unfortunately, the resolution will matter in this case because apparently you cannot run apps if your resolution is lower than 1366 by 768. Let's just give it a try and see if it does work. Oh, yes, it does work. Somehow. So this is Internet Explorer. And you can see everything works fine. I think the internet should work as well. Yes, the internet does work. Uh, now, I have used Windows 8, so I think I know where to go. So this is your Metro start screen. You can browse around. And looky here, we have a desktop feature as well. So we do have a desktop feature. It's just that we don't have a start button or anything. And if you're wondering, how can you get my computer? Where is my computer? You can actually get that back. All you have to do is go to Personalize and then change desktop icons and then show computer, show users files, click OK and there you go, you have my computer problem solved. Some people were like, my computer is not there anymore but we actually have it right here so problem solved. Now if you want to get back to the start screen you always have to go to the bottom uh, left, click on that and there you go, you get the start screen. So you can do whatever you want, you can mess around with it Honestly, I love the new operating system. I can't wait to try out the full version when it comes out in just a few days. So have fun. You can try this out on Mac. You can try this out on Windows. It's good to be back on YouTube as well after a whole year. So that's about it, guys. Hold on a sec. Do you want to turn on locations? Okay. All right. So thanks for watching. And if you like the video, hope you subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Do whatever you want. Wow, this looks beautiful. My point is, thanks for watching. Take care.